What's cracking, big dogs? Happy Saturday. Welcome to the weekend. I'm glad that I can usher you into this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful week 15 weekend. Here's the best part about these videos, man. It doesn't matter if you're knocked out of your fantasy playoffs because there's always money to be made. Today's video is monkeyknifefight.com where we're talking about our favorite player props. Later in the video, I'm actually not sure whether or not me and Joe are going to be doing the DFS portion. I know he's going to be traveling for the uh, DraftKings live tournament down in Miami, I want to say. Make sure you go hit up Joe on Twitter, at Joe Holka, and, and wish him luck in the DraftKings final. If he is with us, cool. You'll see that at the end of the video. So there's money to be made in player props. There's money to be made in DraftKings, in Daily Fantasy, and FanDuel, man. There's money to be fucking made everywhere. Slinging on the corners. We're, we're out here at the HQ. I am Nicholas. This is Big Dogs Gotta Eat Fantasy Football. As always, monkeyknifefight.com is where we make the revenue. If you sign up on monkeyknifefight.com, you'll be able to bet on some different player props and, you know, go over under on receptions, touchdowns, fantasy points, whatever, whatever, whatever. If you sign up with the link in my description or in the comment section, or just use the promo code BDGE, 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 <laughs> You will get $5 when you sign up, plus a 100% deposit match. You throw 10, you get 10. You throw 20, you get 20. That's what we're working with today. So the last couple of weeks, what I've done is taken the touchdown dance, and I've used Christian McCaffrey, Aaron Jones, Devontae Adams, and they fucked me in each of the last two weeks because two weeks ago, we had two touchdowns. Aaron Jones got stuffed on the one-yard line twice. Had a touchdown called back in the red zone, so we didn't hit our number there. Last week, Christian McCaffrey also got stuffed on the one-yard line multiple times. We've gotten a string of very, very bad luck. However, you know what beats bad luck? Bad pass defense, and that is what we have in this Houston-Tennessee game. So that's what we're attacking. Last week, we saw what Ryan Tannehill did to the Oakland Raiders. Now, the Houston Texans are not the Oakland Raiders, but they're not that much better they're definitely better but they're not that 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 much better so what we have here you know i'm just looking at some pff grades tennessee you might think of them as a great defense uh overall they're pretty good their rush defense very good pass rush very not good 23rd ranked coverage grade very average below average so on the passing side of things they are not that good Couple that with the fact that Adoree Jackson, their top cornerback, probably going to be out again. He did not play in week 14. He did not practice at all last week. And usually when players don't practice at all the previous week, they are more week to week than day to day. And it is unlikely that they return in the following week. So keep a close eye on the practice reports for Adoree Jackson. home. On the flip side, we know Houston is not a great defense, especially when it comes to coverage. They're all the way down here, 27th ranked per PFF. Pass rush, also down here below average at 19th ranked. Rush defense, they are a lot better on the run side of things than they are on the pass side of things, so that would imply a funnel. Now, I'm not exactly sure what specific stats I want to attack. So you can go with over-unders, all these different game types. So it's a lot of fun to play, a lot of customizability. If that was a fucking word, I might have just made that up off the, top, off the dome. If I'm talking a mile a minute, it's because I've had like three coffees already and it is 11 a.m. I'm gonna need to take a breath. Everyone that's sitting behind the computer or if you're, pod if you're listening via podcast right now, you're driving in your car, what I want you to do is take a deep breath with me. Let it come to you. Be one with Monkey Knife Fight. Again, go sign up. We're going to win some money this week. I guarantee it. MonkeyKnifeFight.com. Use promo code BDGE when you sign up and deposit. You'll get 100% deposit match plus five bucks. I don't necessarily like to go with the passing yardage over under in these games, especially when two of the mobile quarterbacks, when both of the quarterbacks are mobile, because I expect big games from them fantasy wise, but either of them could go off for 40, 50 rushing yards plus a touchdown or two on the, on the ground. So I tend to stay away from that. Rapid fire, passing yards, Deshaun Watson. Ooh, I like that a lot, actually. Deshaun Watson, plus one and a half passing yards compared to Ryan Tannehill. I love that. Hmm. What is they doing right here? This might be my favorite one. Oh, you do have to pick three out of three correct, though, in order to win money, but it is 5X. Receiving yardage, DeAndre Hopkins, A.J. Brown. So a lot of y'all might be t thinking, you know, well, what this means is plus 32 and a half. When the game is over, if you add 32 and a half receiving yards to A.J. Brown's total, is it more than what DeAndre Hopkins had? So if he goes off for 100, but A.J. Brown goes off for 68. 
then this A.J. Brown pick would win because you add 32 and a half to it. I would say based on recency bias, I would go with DeAndre Hopkins here. I think he's just been absolutely stellar over the last half of the season. Um, A.J. Brown too. I tweeted this out in the games where A.J. Brown has gone for double digit fantasy points. Let me bring it up real quick. He pretty much has had a dud game the following game every single time. So there's been multiple games where we get excited about a player and then all of a sudden he kind of falls back down to earth uh, with A.J. Brown specifically. And that's what has happened time and time again. So week one, three for 100. The next week, four fantasy points. Week four, three for 94, two touchdowns. The next week, 3.7 fantasy points. Week nine, 10.1 fantasy points. The following week, one catch for 17 yards. Week 12, 21 and a half. The following week, six points. So every single time he has a blow up game, people get excited and then he comes back down to earth. However, this is a very good matchup for him. So altogether, I don't know why I'm wasting all your fucking time. I'm probably going to stay away from this player prop match and keep browsing around. Touchdown dance is interesting. If you go over two and a half touchdowns, so if you can combine three players to go two X, three players to go for three touchdowns, you'll get two X your money. I don't like doing touchdown dances in individual games because you can get the same odds doing touchdown dances with the entire one o'clock slate. So I could throw like a Christian McCaffrey as well as a Derrick Henry in here. To be honest, I do not hate the combo of Derrick Henry, DeAndre Hopkins, and A.J. Brown here, although I probably would stay away from guys who don't get that many looks. Why are they still have oh, Cody Hollister? I thought they had Jacob Hollister there. It's like, y'all need to update those shit. All right, I think I found our winner. Winner, winner, motherfucking chicken dinner. This is the over-under. Fantasy points, you have to get three out of four correct. Over under 21 and a half fantasy points for Deshaun Watson, fuck yeah. Over under 19 and a half for Ryan Tannehill, absolutely. Over under 20 and a half fantasy points for DeAndre Hopkins, and this is full PPR. If you need to see the scoring settings, you just hit I, and it will rack up for you here. Reception, one full point. We're just gonna go over on every single play here. Henry's been an absolute beast. Although, although monitor reports on the hamstring we don't like players going into the game injured but you know this was kind of the the same thing they did over the course of last week where he was limited throughout practice ended up going for a fuckload of points so all you have to do is hit three out of four correct you don't even need to be right so if derrick henry ends up you know leaving the game for his hamstring in the second quarter and you still hit these first three guys then you're looking pretty pretty good right here so three out of four here and there are a ton of games on this and you could do these games for any uh, individual game in the NFL, or you can do them by slates, like how DraftKings has the one o'clock, four o'clock, you know, Monday night, whatever. You could do that as well. So this is a two and a half times you're buying. I really, really like the over on these. So I would throw down, you know, ten bucks, and you'll win twenty five bucks plus your ten back as well if you're not integrated into the betting system and how that works. So you'd walk away with thirty five bucks. Again, if you use promo code BDGE, you will get a hundred percent deposit match bonus plus five dollars to play with. So you could you could exponentially exponize the revenue. All right, that's it. MonkeyKnifeFight.com, promo code BDGE. I love you. Good luck in week 15, baby. Ah! Ah! Hey!